circle, the circle of fists. Hi, we're going to talk about sequences today. That's a little tune I wrote called The Circle of Fists. Hope it's a big hit someday. Let's go ahead and start. Um, the Circle of Fists is one example of a harmonic sequence, which is a pattern of root movements like the one we just heard. Right, those are the roots of the chords, and it is a particular pattern. So harmonic sequences sometimes, but not always, correspond with some type of a melodic sequence. And here are the main uh, sequences that we're going to talk about. Descending fifths, or the circle of fifths, ascending fifths, the down three up four pattern, the down four up two pattern, and parallel six three chords. We'll look at these one at a time. First of all, the circle of fifths, this is the most common one found. Um, the roots move by descending fifths. But instead of always going down, we alternate going up and then down, up four, then down four. Or, sorry, up four, then down five. Like that. Um, so here's the pattern. Let's see here. Right? And uh, you can add sevens to each one of those chords as well. And of course, uh, the, some of the patterns, or some of the root, uh, chords, can be inverted. So the, like this last pattern, right? But notice that in each one of these cases, the roots do not change. C F B E A D, and that is the pattern of root movement. Even though the bass itself is not moving by fifths, uh, the roots always are. So that's the circle of fifths. The ascending fifths pattern is not quite as common as uh, the circle of fifths, which is descending fifths, but this is an also, also an effective pattern. With a cadence. Um, notice that the melodic line is ascending versus the descending line in the circle of fifths, so you could use this pattern to move upwards towards some type of climax. Um, some other types of sequences are the down three, up four pattern. Here's an example of that. And then a cadence. All right, so the roots go down a third, up a fourth, down a third, up a fourth, down a third, up a fourth, like that. Um, and if you invert every other chord, as we see in the second case, uh, we go from B flat to G, but it's inverted. Um, then you get a stepwise bass and a a melody that goes from a fifth above the bass to a sixth above the bass. So this version of it is fairly common and is known as the 5-6 sequence, like this. Notice only the melody is moving up, so that's why we call it the fifth going to the sixth. Right. So 5-6. One other type of sequence that you may find is the down, four, up, two sequence. Sounds like this. Down a fourth, up a second, down a fourth, up a second, fourth, and then a cadence. This is the type of sequence that happens in the famous Pockle Bell Canon. Also known as the Romanesca. Now, if I were to invert every other chord and add a seventh, then I get this variant of this down four up two. Which is awfully nifty because I get a descending scale in the bass that I can harmonize with the sequence. One last pattern is the pattern of parallel six three chords. This only involves one harmony, just moving in a linear fashion. First inversion chords, um, and there's no doubling so that you don't have a parallel octaves. So it's usually a three voice pattern. And if you add seven, six suspensions to it, you get something like this. That's basically this. But adding the suspension to each. Um. 
Okay, so those are the main types of uh, sequences. There are other possible sequences, of course, but these are the most frequently found. Um, you are ready to take the quiz that follows.